So here's what we got to do if we get an equation. We got to look at it and be like, all right, well, this is the formula. I encourage you to write it down again every single time. And then look at it. So this is your XC right here. But remember, it had a minus sign in the formula. So when it comes out, it's going to become 4. This is the YC. But again, when it comes out, you got to flip the sign. And again, that's because the formula has these minuses in there, which means when you plug something into the formula, it's going to flip the sign around. All right. And then this is the key right here. This one, it's probably really obvious that the radius is 6. I don't know why I have that square does not belong there. Sorry about that. I was talking and writing at the same time. That's the coordinates of the center right there. And then the radius is six. My kind of general rule is here, remember that this is radius squared. So you would have to take the square root to get the radius. I think if it's written like that, it's okay. But if you go down through here and look at some more of these things, sometimes it'll be written as like 36. And then people will forget to take the square root and they get the problem wrong. If it's multiple choice, they get nothing at all. So you want to be really careful. Remember that whatever the heck is written after the equals, you do need to take the square root to get the answer for it. 